Uh, just Hello, everybody. Something. Why do I always do that? Hello, Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello to all of your the new faces from the Chameleon channel slash Discord. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for stopping by. You said chameleon, and now I have karma chameleon stuck in my Same. head. Same. Oh, Same. oh. I'm okay with it. Uh, oh no, now it's going to be stuck in my head forever. Sorry, guys. No, I don't believe you. Um. Anyway, okay, we're back. Oh no. <laughs> um, the chameleon channel is actually named karma, so there you go. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, the more we know. Yep. So we, if you guys might notice that we are too short tonight. Um, unfortunately, uh, Katie is having some internet problems, which really sucks. I don't know if anybody else has gotten about a foot of snow, but we have here. So we it's will. Not a, not, uh, knocked out. We're supposed to get shin, like so. almost a foot and a half. So. Whoa. It's crazy. I love it. It's beautiful, but it knocked out our internet, so that sucks. Um, oh, boy. And uh, Jenna is dealing with some um, personal stuff. She is fine. Uh, we are hoping to have them back and in rare indigo shape next weekend, but, um, you know, life is life. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one? Damn it. Life is life? Do you know this song? No? It's, you know, for a really long time I thought it was just like a Jewish thing, but apparently it's not. Um, I know it. I'm singing it in my head right now. I'm jamming out. Life is Life by Opus? Life is Life. No? Yeah. Oh, okay, no, yes, I know what it is now. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy that. Um, all right, so quick recap. We're here to play D and D, guys. It's totally what we are do. we really though? <laughs> Just you're an idiot. It's the musical episode, folks. There we it's go. All good. I feel like one it's day, into one that day one. we need to do that. We do sure do. Like a, like a Buffy the Vampire oh, we sure Slayer. Uh -huh. Oh, let me tell you. I mean, there's certain coming from the TV and film perspective. There's different like episode types or episode like structures you know the musical episode the body switching episode the oh, time yeah. the recurring time episode like there's different tropes and i plan especially after i uh begin dming i plan to use every single one of them damn tropes <laughs> like, oh we got to tropes. we got to yeah, it is our duty we do that. like i mean yep. all of the best writers just steal it's how it goes so you know so it goes but D &D. yes <laughs> yeah. all right so yes quick recap um so last time on hell's bells uh it was a fairly quiet episode in which the girls spent a lot of time planning what the hell their next plan <laughs> their next uh, stop yep. was gonna be yep. planning on the plan Mm -hmm. After speaking a little bit more with Nico's father, they determined that they were indeed going to go ahead and go to hell, quite Woo! literally. Um, <laughs> at which point he said that he had someone who could guide them there, uh, but in order oh, to yeah. get there, they would have to go up to the north, back from whence they came, uh, in order to get down there so that they wouldn't have to spend a night in hell, which sounds terrible. Um, Sounds okay, like, like 2020 to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> dumpster fire. It was like a whole year and it felt like an eternity. <sighs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that was really pretty much what happened. There was a lot of strategizing, a lot of uh, figuring out what they were going to do, a lot of, uh, not a lot, but a little bit of familial reconciliation. We'll see how that works out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so I bring you back to Hell's Bells. Um, you guys are still at Nico's farm, and where we had left off, Ambrit uh, had basically said, all right, if you guys are ready, she's ready. So 
You guys still ready to go ahead and go up to deep water? I mean, oh yeah, is Disney an option? <laughs> then you, yes, I rather go to deep water. <laughs> I mean, how could you like Disney? Except you know the opposite, but the complete opposite. <laughs> <laughs> literally the exact one. it's fine it's, oh my goodness i mean depending on who you are disney might be hell it's uh, true <laughs> it's true you know um anyway I'm sorry. moving along uh, anyway. there's a special there's a special ring in hell where people are just waiting online all day just just waiting in line all That'd all the time horrible. for the ride that they can never get Disney and Avernus. it just breaks down when they're the next Disney person Avernus. in line. Disney Avernus. Oh, yeah. Disney Avernus. Make it oh, simple. man, that's actually... Uh-oh. <laughs> I have to write that down. Okay. Oh, did I start something? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know how everybody's like, oh, yeah, you know, you should never talk about ideas that you have about things in front of your DM. You're, you you're never right. Know. You really and I'm should. like, yes, you should. Fine. Talk about yourself. Anyway. Um, oh, who wants a deep... All right, yeah. so uh, Ambrit starts leading you guys back into the city from, again, from whence you came. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys pass by. You guys pass through the town See, until Disney. you get to a very large sort of central tower. Uh, it looks like sort of some kind of place of office probably some kind of government building nico you know that it's like the headquarters for the town there's like a mayor there and all that good good stuff uh, the mayor live? <laughs> hey, <laughs> the mayor's house. wait this is where we're going okay. i just used helvis too for that so i apologize <laughs> sounded familiar <laughs> uh-huh mayor's over there guys <laughs> oh sure <laughs> i'm gonna eat some bread okay <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Oh, it's, oh my it's, God. It's this is gonna be a great hard. episode, guys. Hang on tight. <laughs> <laughs> Miko is my normal voice. Miko is my normal voice. Just keep talking. I can do this. Okay. We are <laughs> consummate professionals, <laughs> friends. Uh, so as you guys, you walk up to the building, and Amber it just like she walks right in. Are you guys gonna just follow behind her? Yes. Oh yes, closely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seen all this before. I lived here. Because if she walks in within that with that much authority, then we definitely want to just act like we're her entourage. Boom. Yeah. Zoop. All right. Cool. So she walks right up to the counter, kind of waves hello to the person who's there. Oh, hello. Um, I'm here to see uh, uh, Miss. Um, Miss uh, Greenstreet, she's uh, she's waiting for me. And the lady just kind of like bows her head, turns around, walks away for a minute. Well, uh, um, so are you guys excited? That is not her no. voice. <laughs> I am not excited. Huh? A little intimidated, to be honest. I mean. This is a really lovely, very authority-looking building. Um, are, are we gonna be in trouble? I know, you know. Um, I put the people here that you know. I know them, and they know me. And uh, Miko, your dad, he knows a lot of them, and that's really all that I need. Uh, but I, I was kind of talking about going. Going to hell. I mean, I... same answer. No. Nope. Yeah, it's not a real friendly place, but uh, it's kind of exciting, right? Like, get to go and fight some demons. I mean, I kind of I wish mean... we were spending a little bit more time here, but if we can just get it over with, that would be Did probably it. the best course of action. Yeah. And oh, I guess. Sombra, Sombra's tail starts flicking a little bit nervously, but her eyes kind of like flash up a little bit, a little gold flecks start flashing up in her eyes a little bit, and she says, I've been waiting to face off against my dad for a long time. 
and the sooner that I can get closer to him, the sooner I can help end this. And that's all she said. Yeah, well, you know, guys, uh, guys get all loose, you know. Yeah. I mean, he's scary, but I don't know if he's, um, you know, he's still, I mean, he's quite big and mean and, I mean, he's the reason that my family had to flee. So I'm very invested in get, getting down there and, I just hope that y'all, you guys are up for it. Miko kind of like puts a hand on Sombra's shoulder and like leans around and just goes, Ugh, dads, am I right? Yeah, dads. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> and uh, at this point, the woman comes back and just kind of motions to you guys. Uh, and uh, Amber follows behind her and motions for you guys to follow. Mm -hmm. You guys head upstairs. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty simple building. Just, you know, not super fancy on the inside. Just leads you upstairs to what looks like an office, and in the middle you see teleportation circle. Ooh. And the woman just kind of nods to you and says, If you could all please stand in a in the circle, I'll uh, get you on your way. Um, Miko's just kind of, is there a window in here? Yeah. Okay, just before I said Miko looks out the window, I should be like, is there a window? <laughs> I stand um, up against the wall. <laughs> I look against uh. the wall. My arm outstretched, eyes wide. Um, <laughs> no, Miko is going to kind of like look out the window and just like look over this town like just one last time and kind of take a deep breath. And like, okay compose herself and head over to the circle. And I think Cherry is going to, when you get back, kind of like hold your hand really tight and give it a squeeze. Just be like, it's okay, we'll be back soon. Maggie oh. just jumps right into the circle like, let's go! <laughs> she wild shapes into a bear. <laughs> Sandra, Sandra is like busy studying the designs on the floor. She's totally at like just fascinated with all the different mathematics and geometry that had to go into it. Like, I gotta learn how to make one of these. <laughs> she steps in. <laughs> all right, and as soon as you guys all get in the circle, the woman kind of like waves her hands in the air and does this weird, says some words and <laughs> suddenly you guys look around and you're like, uh, uh and you have arrived back in <gasps> deep water, which is where you started. So, oh, uh, let's just stay here. <laughs> just mm. as a quick recap for the audience, this this campaign actually originally started as a one shot that we had our Tiefling Girl Squad plus one angel. Um, which ended up being a lot of fun and very cool, and now it became a campaign. And the one shot was set in this town where the girls ended up also, after the one shot, when we started the actual campaign, fought a bunch of uh, skeletons at a wedding. So yep. it was a blast. That's where. All hail the pink lady! <laughs> yep. So this and is. And that where was we are. six months ago. It was. It was six months ago in our wow. time. Um, it's been, though, just so you guys know, it's been about a month and a half since you left. Holy crap. Okay. That, that a lot bad. has happened. <laughs> wow. I know. Isn't that? It's so fucking nuts with that. Where uh -huh. it's like, oh my god. I, it's been like six or seven months in real life. But in D&D &D time, it's been like. Oh. It's been a day. Yeah, right? Right. <laughs> Um, all right, so you guys, you appear in what looks, it's very similar actually to where you just left, but it's a little more sparse. Um, it looks a little bit more, a little bit less like an office and a little bit more like a, like a storage room almost. There's like lots of <laughs> barrels there. There's some like shelving on the walls that's got some lead, what looks like ledgers. And there's an older gentleman 
who's uh, sitting behind a desk and he's just writing in a book. And you guys appear and he kind of looks up, squints over his glasses at you. Oh, yes, hello. You must be coming here from, from Rockways. Miss Green Street, she said. Uh, oh, she said that there would be eight, six. Uh, you're free to go. Okay. Can he come He's, like, with us? He's like squinting at you. <laughs> Guys, like poor thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. And he goes back to whatever he was doing. <laughs> whatever he was doing, writing in his little <laughs> oh, journal. Boy. Uh, so, are you guys gonna just head oh. right out? Yeah. Heading out. Back here again. All right. All right, so you guys walk down a set of stairs and out the front of what looks like just kind of a office building type thing. Or sorry, not an office building. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, <laughs> just like a sort of nondescript <sighs> building. Um, and you guys walk into what is the merchant district of town. Um, and Sombra and Maggie would definitely know this. And uh, the rest of you have all been here, so you know it a little bit but mm -hmm. this uh town is run by a merchant's guild they're the people who sort of like just run the show there's a lot of trade that comes in through the uh lake that is this town is situated next to and azarian who was the guy that you did the favor for in the first what place a pleasant is one of the human extremely pleasant human he's one of the big wigs in the <laughs> merchant's guild um and so as you guys walk out into the street, it is hustling and bustling. There are a fair amount of people out and about, but you do sort of see as you look around, it looks like some of the buildings a little further down have collapsed into rubble. Because this and... is where that artifact was, right? And yes okay that's what i thought yeah so yeah part of the reason that you guys did want to come back here not just because you kind of had to to get to where you're going yeah was because the university where you guys had left that's the artifact right. was destroyed and you guys know this not through cool, cherry's man. guilt right um so you guys do notice that it looks like down the street to your left there's some buildings that have collapsed and are in rubble and it looks like some some of the uh, street is charred up in that direction. Um, and Ambrit kind of looks around and <sighs> probably in that way. It always <sighs> makes my back seize up. <sighs> Anybody for a drink? Uh, yes. 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 I could go for one. I don't really drink, but yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, sure. It's been a oh. long month and a half. It feels like six months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So. oh, yes. She brings you guys up to a familiar place where you originally met up with Azarian. The big tavern in town, the main place for uh, entertainment. The Lady of the Lake. So you guys walk inside, and behind the bar, you see your favorite little bartender. I Holic. loved him. Ah, ah, baby, how you been? Ah. Surprise! Well. <laughs> Yeah, I believe us, we didn't think you'd see us uh, anytime soon either, but here we are. Alas! <laughs> you know, Master Rosarian, he was rather pointed out by uh, how things went, but I thought that it was absolutely wonderful. You know, he's a bit of a stupid and he looks over at Miko and looks at Cherry, and it's like he's finally seeing you guys, and he's like... Beet juice. Uh, Need a room? Do you want a bath? No. Uh, we, we're, 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 we are. This is no. This is normal. 
He's got real good perception, huh? Uh, uh, well, he's just met you before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true, that's true. He's got real good memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just know, like, she's just looking, Miko's looking... just gonna be like, we're in disguise, and like, wink and finger gun. Oh, oh, so sorry. I won't say anything. How, how about a, a, a glass of, a, a tankard of ale for each of you on the house? I was so very impressed with the way you handled last year's area, and you know, he's a bit of a step in the mud, and I won't tell anyone, but it's, it's delightful. It's so just a fact. Me. Yes, well, okay. Uh, then let me get you some tankard and a uh, pass it, and I will be right with you. And he kind of does that thing where he like scurries off of his stool. This guy's a dog, by the way. He's very yeah. small, so he yeah, scurries right. off of his stool and goes and like it's climbing up ladders and grabbing stuff and going over and like climbing up ladders and getting some beer. And um... at this point, uh, Cherry is going to look around and she sees sitting at one of the tables, and you guys would also recognize him. It's the same guy she talked to before and she's gonna kind of turn to you guys so i see um the gentleman that i talked to last time was part of the uh the guild up here if it's okay i'm gonna go and see if i can talk to him a little bit and see what i can find out about the um the university being destroyed okay bring zashri with you Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know what? Ask him if, um, like, maybe uh, uh, try to sneak into the conversation. Like, has anybody, like, was there an excavation of all of the school? Or are they still working on pulling out rubble, artifacts, other things, you know? I, for one, would probably like to take just a little peeksies just to see if there's anything down there that might be useful. You know, yeah, of course, yeah. not to steal, but to borrow for a while, considering where we're going. I was just going to take it. Anything. Yeah, no, you guys should definitely go by and see if you can find out anything. And, and maybe, um, I don't know. If, if you'll have time, but see um, if the uh, the the temple, if they know anything, the people that we left the necklace with. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's a very good idea. All right, you All got right. this. And if I need anything, I'll send you a message. And she's gonna yes. walk over. I feel like we just did basically the like, it's dangerous to go alone, take yes. this. Zashri. <laughs> also, an 8-bit Zashri is the next commission that we need to get done so we can put that on a shirt. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> it may be dangerous, but I have a Zashri. Oh, yes. my God. It's dangerous to go alone. Take your protector. <laughs> Zashri is my co-pilot. Yes. yes! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so Halleck is going to scramble around the bar with a whole big tray full of tankards for you guys. <laughs> so, like, you can't see him under this thing. He's just I love like, him so much. And he comes to the table and just kind of shoves the whole tray on. Do you want to pull out? It's so good to see you. If you need anything, you know, I am uh, very knowledgeable and uh, I keep it. So I, if you need anything, any directions or anything, I'm here to help. And he finally notices that Ambrit is with you. <laughs> kind of like, do I know you? And she looks at him like, <laughs> uh, no. She's a new and friend. Kind of just... <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, well, here's to new friends then. Scrambles away. <laughs> Okay. So actually, she is also with you. Let me. Otherwise, she's with you guys. She looks terrifying, and I love her. <laughs> she's very intimidating, and I feel like Maggie and her are gonna be very good friends. <laughs> the best. <laughs> the best <of> friends. <sighs> uh, 
Well, uh, uh, have you, uh, so I, I take it you've been here before? Yes. This is where we all met. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's, uh, well, that's a bit strange, eh? I mean, I thought that you were from, well, you've been traveling a lot, I guess. Mm-hmm. A lot. We all, mm-hmm. You see, we've been through the desert on a horse with no name, so we've yep. renamed him Senator Trottington. Yep. And... <laughs> I wonder how our horses are. Yes! <laughs> Checks in the bag of holding. Oh, not well. Not well at all. No? no. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot we did that. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 that was, that was a oh, joke. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. But didn't we put them in there? No, 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 they are safely in Elysian with Cordial's parents. Yeah. <laughs> what we left them there. Like, no nightmare scenarios here, please. No. No horses were put into bags of holding. In <laughs> Correct. Game, I promise. <laughs> like that when I was like, I'm going to climb in the bag of holding. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, you're fine. No. You can die. But it's like the horses, no. No. <laughs> Not Bingo. the horses. Get in this bag of holding. Horses, stay, no, no, it's danger. <laughs> no, 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 no. Horse. Okay, sorry. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Vanessa. I'm so sorry. I love oh, this so heart. much. Why? Right, no. Oh, jeez. Sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> All right. So, you guys have your uh, mugs of ale and. Ambrit is just kind of sitting with you, drinking. It looks like she's fairly deep in thought. Mm -hmm. What do you guys want to do? Well, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, there's so uh, when when the um, when the the destruction of the school happened, um, or not the school. Sorry, mm -hmm. the, the, when the destruction happened. Um, did, did they, did they, uh, when they sent word to Cherry, did they happen to mention, um, was it the original people, uh, two folks that had, uh, accepted the artifact from us, or were there, like, were, did they die too, or do we even know any of that? Nobody knows. Or nobody down there knew anything. They just knew that the university had been destroyed. Okay. Mm, that was okay. really it. Yeah. I think and, um, um I think Ambro would be at least you know, checking out the tavern, seeing if there's any other uh travelers that we've recognized in, from in the past when we've been in here. And um, you know, and or checking out to see if there's anybody that's noticing us extra closely. All right, roll perception for me. Yeah, here we go. Again, first roll of the game. Woo -hoo -hoo. First roll. Here we go. And that is survey says perception. <laughs> that that's a big old five. Five. So <laughs> as you look around, it's you know, it's a little bit you know disorienting going from one place to another place that's like a hundred miles away really really fast so you're still trying to get your bearings a little bit so as you look around you're like i know that guy uh no i don't think so uh you don't see anybody that appears to be noticing you guys as anything out of nobody's looking overly intently at you guys Because they're working swimmingly. Well, I, yeah. Well, I definitely think that. I mean, I don't see anybody that I recognize from when we were here the last time. But I really do think that it's a good idea to at least maybe ask around, see, you know, what might have gone down exactly, since we don't have a lot of details. You know, I like going into a situation with as many details as possible. You know that. Hmm. Well, while we're here, we want to go check out the university. I think I that think would be a good idea. Okay. I think that's um, probably the best bet. Okay. 
Um, so are you guys just going to try to uh, head in the direction um, that you think it I is? First I want to ask, um, what's the bartender's name again? Hollick. Hollick. Um, hey, Hollick. Quick question. Yes. Did you hear anything about the university? Oh, goodness. Uh, well, of course, it, it was blown up or something. I mean, they won't really tell us very much. Between you and me, I think the guild is hushing things up because something happened out of their control and they don't like people to know that they don't have control of this town. Mm. People are angry, you see. They think that the Merchant's Guild isn't doing enough. It's been almost a month and a half since it happened, and it, the building isn't any closer to being fixed, and uh, downtown is a wreck, and, you know, it's difficult to get things in and out of here when half of your city is destroyed, but not so, doing it. So it happened right after we left? Oh, yes, actually. Only about a week after you left. That's odd. No, I hadn't really thought about it, but I suppose it is a bit odd. Although we do get travellers in and out of here quite frequently, you know. It's a bit of a waypoint, and especially merchants, you know, they're coming and going and going and going. People go over the mountains and then come back. Hmm. Mostly. Understood. Yes. Well, do you know the quickest way to get over there? Oh, certainly. You just... If you go out the front door, you take a right and uh, keep walking for about, uh, well, you see a large establishment on your right hand side and the river's there. So then you go over the river and then it should be right there. Well, it'll actually be quite easy to find because it's it's a pile of rubble. That makes sense. Are there Are there guards there making sure no one goes over there? You know, there were, but I don't believe that they are there anymore. Uh, but I could be wrong. I, I haven't been by recently. I've mostly been staying right here. In the I get that. Better safe yeah. than sorry. Well, you know, like I said, it's it's the town's been in a bit of an upheaval since everything happened. You know, first mm. everyone heard about the skeleton invasion. Oh, it was very scary. And uh, did that stop? Minute, yes, yes, it did. You and uh, you all. It stopped it, and it was, well, it was quite wonderful, to be honest. A <laughs> sigh of relief. But uh, then, uh, you know, a week later, the university exploded, and um, that hasn't been repaired yet. So people are still quite upset, and things have been a little, well, you know, when there's no, uh, when half the town goes up, people don't have their livelihoods anymore, and... Well, let's just say that the door's locked at night. I get that. Yes. As always, you're the best. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have one more question, though, colleague. Was there any... Was there anything else that happened after the skeleton invasion? I'm just curious. Um, nothing out of sorts, no. Okay. Well, aside from the increase of the, uh, the uh, crime rate, you know, people have been talking about some kind of, of underground network of air thieves of some kind that perhaps are taking advantage of the per position of the Merchants Guild in the city since uh, you know, it's, it is more difficult to get goods in and out when the, the half the town has exploded and it's blocked a bit of the river, but, you know, they, that's been unclogged. But for a while, it's, it, there are rumors going around that someone was helping them. Mm. What, what, those, those rumors, did they say, they, was it, like anyone in particular or just in general some some underground organization but some... do we have uh, like a, a title or oh, are they like the cool shady. bad dudes club do they have like tattoos sorry uh, i 
don't know. I just know that they were some sort of shady underground organization. There was something about something about cars. Yeah. Well, yikes. That sounds like like bad news. Anyways, what you got oh, on? Okay. Oh well, we yeah. Have- <laughs> Sombra looks at the girls and then looks at Carlic and says. Oh, like, what's the what's the most expensive drink I can buy? Just off the top of your head, how much for it? Uh, well, I have some delightful raspberry mead that is uh, it's three gold pieces for a bottle, though. I, it's a bit pricey, but, you know, the merchants, they love things like us. Sambra puts up a hand and says, say no more. She gives him six gold. Slides it across the table, across the counter, and says, I will take that whole bottle of raspberry mead to go and keep the change. You've been very helpful. Oh, that's, that's, that's quite, well, yes, of course. Thank you. And he scrapes off his little stool and like runs in the back really quickly. And some brought silliness to the girls and says, we're gonna need every drop of that mead for what we've got to do next. Oh my yep. god, mm. this isn't gonna be good. And I think that Cherry is not gonna be coming back with any good news. Mm-mm. No, but we definitely have to protect <laughs> her now more than ever because this guild that she's a part of. More and more, I am not happy. They're not up to any good. They sound like, no. Yo, Holic. Yes? So that meat is awesome, but do you happen to have any, like, really high-quality apple juice? Oh, uh, well, uh, I, I, I might. <laughs> I mean, most of the... Let me check. And he, like, scrambles back. We need to get him a floating disc. Yeah, you know, that would really help him because, I mean, he's such a little guy, but you know what? He really runs this place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write awesome. that down. <laughs> Floating disc. Um, if you guys want to see him, actually, he is under. You can. Uh, yeah, he's, he's the, right here. The deep water NPCs. He's so cute. Your I love him list. so much. He's fresh. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Look um, at those mutton chops. Oh, I could just eat them all. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, yes, I, I, I do actually have a bit of apple juice, although it's it's probably a little bit um hard. It's been sitting for a little while. Not many people, uh, not many people order it actually. <laughs> that might be a good way of getting cherry used to alcohol. Yeah, we'll <laughs> take it. <laughs> yes, well, uh, that'll that'll be full silver, please. And, and she, she takes five silver and slides it across and goes, keep the change while, like, looking over at Sombra, <laughs> like, I didn't do it. And he's just like, oh, yeah, well, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> One more Brian, thing, like, Holic. Do you have any fruit or uh, veggies? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't have any of that. You wouldn't try the market, though. They, but they may have something. Sort. They, they probably do, you know. Uh, lots of people come here to trade and that sort of thing. You know, uh, across the river, they they have several farms and and out in the outskirts of town. Well, you know. and, Maggie's gonna take one copper out and slide it across the table and be like, "Thanks." <laughs> well, you all are just being so generous, and I, I I do appreciate it. Thank you. You're, you're always welcome here, yeah. Ellie. It's like Sabra has looked at uh, what, uh, you know, Miko's look at first, like, and then when Maggie does it, she and I are both like, we love you, we love you. I feel like, I feel like right now, like, Sabra is like, name brand, you know? And then Miko's like, Dollar coming store. up with like, competitors knockoff, and then Maggie is like, Dr. Thunder with the label ripped off and a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> that is Maggie in a wow. nutshell, guys. <laughs> all that, all that. <laughs> well, what do yeah, you guys think? Cool. Where should we head to first? 
Well, um, maybe it's a good idea to head over to the temple, um, just to speak with some of the clerics over there, just like Cordy had um, mentioned to mm -hmm. us. And uh, if Cherry is still within our eyesight, um, I mean, you know, either I can send message or mm -hmm. I can kind of signal over to her like we're heading out or something, um, whichever would work, DM. Yeah, you can message her. She is over at this table with this gentleman. Gotcha. And so yeah. is Ashri. Right. Ashri's probably so, yeah. because she's a bodyguard. Got you. So, uh, yeah, I would uh, hit Cordy with message and say, uh, Cordy, looks like we're going to go to the temple to talk with the clerics like you recommended to us. And uh, we may go investigate the university after that. If we're not back in a certain amount of time, well, you check either place for us. <laughs> but we should be fine. Okay, I'll, I'll let you know if I find anything, and I'll find you as soon as I'm done here. All right, so you guys are headed to the temple? Yes. To the temple away. All right, so you guys head out of the tavern. The temple district is in the opposite direction from the uh, university when you leave, so you go take a it, whatever you go out and head in the other direction and you know the buildings the first time you were here it looked you know it's it's a fairly small city but it looked fairly grand you know as you guys are walking past you're noticing that it's, it seems like it's a little bit more run down than it was a month ago like they, it feels like they've just kind of let it go a little bit like there's not as many people streets are a little bit dirtier uh, okay. The buildings are a little sooty where you are. Um, and people just don't seem as hep. Uh, can I have everyone roll perception? Yes, you may. Yes. Sure. I'm right here. Oh. I found it. What d20 am I going to roll? Well, it may be a d20. And yep. we did a good job. That is a 16. Let's see. Uh, 12. 14. Okay. So, um, everybody, you all notice that whereas before everybody was sort of dressed very brightly, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, fairly typical merchant stuff, you know, most merchants dressed in like bright colors because it shows off station. Right. You're noticing a lot more people dressed in black interspersed throughout the stalls that you're passing. Cause you're passing sort of through like the market area. There's just like a lot more people that are dressed a little bit more drab than you remember. I... I'm so sorry. Hmm. Here you go. That's it. Uh, may I please roll insight to see if they seem like sad, like if it's in mourning or if it might be something else? Yep, go ahead. We. Oui. Uh, that is an 11. 11. Okay. So for the most part, it it's a little difficult to tell, you know, without directly engaging one of them but for the most part it seems like they're not they don't seem to be like sad or upset about anything necessarily just sort of going about their business hmm. interesting could i um ask one of the merchants that's still brightly like colorfully dressed sure. uh, uh, yeah so uh, you just like you want to just like kind of go up to the first person that you see. Yeah, yeah, first person, and uh, just kind of ask. I can, I and I can do either investigation or persuasion. Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have you roll investigation just to see who you find. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a nine. Nine. Okay. Um, so the first thing that you see is this woman who's got this sort of tent set up. Uh, she's wearing bright pink clothing and a purple hat and she looks like she's selling some uh fish okay and just you know walk into her stall hello yeah i oh, wow this stuff looks looks great do you have any specials today oh uh, no oh okay cool 
Um, how about, how about, uh, what's, what's your favorite? Is there anything you recommend? Do you have any fruit? Uh, no. What is with people and no fruit? This is a fish stall, Maggie? Yes. <laughs> don't fish go well with lemons? We don't, we don't have those stuff. In deep water at all. This is a citrus free zone, y'all. <laughs> Maggie's just gonna go hungry. <laughs> She's never gonna eat no, again. What was she just gonna rage and eat lemons? Like, I mean, sh she'll take what she can get at this point. <laughs> um, You'll be I'll fine, be... Maggie. <laughs> Matter of fact, here, Sombra looks around. VM, do do we see any like veggie or fruit stalls like right next next door or something? Or Roll investigation. Yeah, no, please. Sure. Maggie's too <laughs> stubborn to look for there we herself. Go. There we go. Uh, six on the die. That's a total of 18. Yeah, you see a couple of stalls down. You see somebody that's selling some fresh fruit. Oh, yes. Got you. Maggie, I'll look, be over there. Points over to the stall. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Got that jaw stuck going on. So, um, I'll just buy something that looks pretty pretty decent um and i'll just be like so uh, i love your outfit today i couldn't help but notice uh, not everybody is uh sharing your same uh jubilant uh color palette right now yes is, is there an event going on or something i'm sorry we're from out of town uh, no no people just started dressing that way last time we passed through everybody seemed to be in very high spirits well, uh, the, the town caught on fire. Uh, well, yeah, that that did happen. You're right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, you know, but like no cults, anything like that. No, like. No. Okay, sweet. Well, thank you for the fish. Yes. We appreciate it. You have a lovely day, ma'am. Yes. Actually, before we leave, what Sombra would do is, uh, does she have any shrimp? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she would uh, buy a pound of shrimp. And uh, how much would that be? Uh, it's going to be a silver piece. Okay. Got you. And I'll, and I'll slip her too. I mean, the, the town just caught on fire, uh, you know. Support local business. Boom. <laughs> so, yes. Support your local businesses. Yeah. So I'll give her two silver. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, how Thank much you. was my fish? Uh, like two copper. Two copper? I'll give her ten copper and be like, mm -hmm. I must have been mistaken. Yes. She looks very happy for <laughs> you. I love this lady. She is a woman of few words, uh, but oh my god. Yes! Yes! No! Sir. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, I love it. have her oh come god. back. Oh yeah. Please. I'll give her a name. Okay. I can do that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, so going to join Maggie over at the fruit and, and vegetable uh, stall there. Okay, yeah, so uh, the fruit seller actually looks a little bit uh, more put together. Um, he's wearing a blue jacket with a bright red silk top and red pants. Um, he looks... like put together and probably a little bit more well off than some of the other people. It's cause he All knows right. what's up. Fruit. Hello, He's sir. Got branding. <laughs> yes, hello. Do you have any like bundles of fruit or veggies? Well, I, I don't sell vegetables, but I do sell fruit. But, uh, are you looking for anything in particular? anything that grows on a tree 
would be great. Well, you know, not all fruit grows on trees. Already. I have several things that grow in trees <laughs> or in bundles. What could I? Or that. <laughs> Anything with vitamin C or. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Some What's your favorite fruit, sir? Like... Right. Well, we have these delicious peaches that are for sale. It's one gold for a bunch. Would you like some? I will give him two gold. Oh, that's lovely, dear. Thank you. And he hands you, like, a bundle of, not a bundle, but, like, a bag full of peaches. Yeah. I like a bundle better. I want it to be like wrapped in like cloth, <laughs> like in cloth, just like a big, like, like from Harry like and David. Fruit, and it's just this lumpy, like cloth wrapped, just blob. <laughs> like here you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You've made my day. You're very welcome, young lady. Slides the gold pieces and puts them in a little pouch. Is there anything else that I can interest you in while you're here? Do you have any apples? Of course. Make I'll take a bunch of apples, apples too. All. How many? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna like, if Sombra's by me, I'm gonna go, how many apples do we need to make a glass of apple juice? Um, I mean, a small bushel should be just fine. You that many. I mean? <laughs> a full bushel. Well, I can give you a full bushel, but I don't really have anything uh, less than that unless you want a bag. A full. A, a bag is fine. A bag Bag's is fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is five silver. I'll give him another you gold. A... Oh, thank you. It's quite generous. Are you all from out of town? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank do you, you. Do you know what happened to the university? Well, it uh, caught fire, as far as I know. Do you know from what? Any rumors going around? Rumors? No, not in this city. Insight check. Yeah. Inside check. DM, please. <laughs> wait, wait. I think that's incorrect. Well, Maggie's busy eating her peaches, so she has no <laughs> idea. Oh, yeah, no. I rolled a three on the dice, so. So yeah. did I. Oh, I believe every word. 19? Oh. Yes. So, he is lying through his teeth. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna walk up and take one of uh, Maggie's peaches. Hey! And... What? I said hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm just gonna kind of like take a bite of it and like squeeze the rest of the peach and be like, "Look, you and I both know that's wrong. So why don't you tell us what's really going on?" And I'll kind of like take another bite that like goes into the pit and I spit the pit out. It's real tough. All right, I want wow. you to roll intimidation. Oh, the oh, pits are the best big. part. <laughs> oh, um, right now. That is a twenty-six. Oh my god! <laughs> he probably like beats himself a little bit, but he's not showing it. You can just see his eyes go like wide. He's like, <clears throat> well. And he leans down, like, really conspiratorially. There was a man that ruled the beast, ridden by horned devils, attacked the tower and set it on fire. But anyone who has said so has been labeled as insane. So please don't tell anything that I told you. 
I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. You just told us that the library caught fire probably because some kids were playing with matches. I think that makes total sense. That's not mm. what he said. Maggie, shut up! <laughs> Here, have another peach. <laughs> <laughs> just shove a peach in Maggie's mouth. That boom. I already <laughs> have one. I don't want another one yet. Boom. Um, actually, as Sombra would probably lean in and kind of, uh, step in and say, uh, so what's going on with all of the black, uh, outfits that we're seeing around town? Last time we were here, most people were dressed, maybe not as nice as you, but brightly colored at least. Uh, well... I am actually, I'm going to have you roll persuasion for me, just to see how much mm. you get out of him. Because he's a little scared, but... Mm. Okay, that is... Uh, persuasion. There we go. 14. 14? Yes. So he, he sort of leans down again, in that like little conspiratorial style. He's like, well... I heard that they have been working with the, the merchants' guilds, but they're outside hired. Not really much more that we've been told. I, I myself am part of the guild, but not quite so high up. And we've been given the information that they're hired by uh, the ranking members to help rebuild and assist in, you know, reconstructing the city. You've been okay. most kind, good sir. High five! <laughs> he, like, very gently taps his fingers against your palm. <laughs> because like, then I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> yes, is that how they is that how they say goodbye where you're from? Yes, it is. Farewell. Uh, th thank you for the purchases. I appreciate your business. Oh, and here's for the peach, and I'll like kind of like do a little like toss. Not like a coin flip, because that's like, that's so, that's, I, I've done that. We've been there. So instead, I'm going to do like a little like cat paw, like, floop, uh, for a silver piece. Oh, well, thank you very much, ladies. It has been a pleasure meeting you. I feel like as we like walk out of his tent, like things go into slow motion as we like pull out our like little bags, like throw some copper in the air and turn down for what starts playing in the background. <laughs> For what? Making it hell! Oh, <laughs> baby! <laughs> or, uh, or that confidence song. What's wrong with being confident? Uh-huh. Ooh, and then the hair. And we're all like... <laughs> oh. Maggie, like, flips her shopping bags full of peaches. <laughs> She's got, like, a little bit of peach, like, running out of her. <laughs> <laughs> That's Maggie in a nutshell. And, and that is actually going to be the perfect spot for us to take our first break of the night. Um, so Woo! for new people, instead of taking one break in the middle, we try to take some smaller breaks as we go so that people can adjust and use the bathroom and get some drinks and whatever they need. So we we'll try to keep it to five minutes, but we never do. So we'll be back in five to ten. We'll see you then.
And we're back, everybody. Oh, I missed oh. that chat. What about cat? I see my my name. <laughs> She's oh, talking boy. to the camera and everything. I'm drawing a cat. I hope cat is with us. I am with you, Rosanna. <laughs> <laughs> my heart. <sighs> My All favorite right. thing is when people, like, kids draw me photos. It's the best. <laughs> best thing ever. So let me turn this off and turn on the... The, 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 the there we go. Okay. How All right. have you had anybody draw me? Ever? <laughs> mm, same. Although, um, as my uh, brand new niece, uh, relatively brand new, uh, gets older, hopefully she will, uh, you know, draw my likeness. We will see. Make Depends on how of her auntie. Yeah, Ooh. you know, it'd be really cool if she did. Yeah. Uh, all right, so you guys are walking through the streets of town, headed towards the temple. Uh... Is there anything else you want to do? Anywhere you want to stop on the way? Or are you guys heading straight there? Probably just straight there. Okay. Um, I think uh, Sombra might... Um, she might keep an eye out for... Um, just in general. Um, just to watch our backs a little bit. Um, anybody that she sees, you know, kind of tailing us, following us around. Because, I mean, we've had straight up monsters coming to try and attack us, mm. Miko, you yep. know, so she's, she's got a keen eye out as much as possible. All right, roll perception for me. Okay. Let's see what we see. Ooh, that is a 15. 15? Okay. So, yeah, as you guys are walking towards where the temples are, you're keeping an eye out, making sure that you're not being followed, making sure nobody's giving you any side eye. Uh, you don't really see anything. Okay. Do you guys hear that? Hmm. No, I don't hear anything. I mean, I'm sorry, no. I was doing my crunch, crunch, delicious food dance while I was snacking on this peach. I don't know. It's just like a weird buzzing. Hmm. Hmm. And Can this I is in game, by the way, not check? out of game. <laughs> Could I could I roll an inside check to see if she's really hearing something or maybe something else? Uh, sure. Because we've had poor Maggie affected too. Um, let's see, that's gonna be very good. Goal. That's only a nine. 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 Yeah, I mean, she. It seems like she believes that she's hearing something. Okay. Could I do either a perception or? investigation to see if I, if now that she's mentioned it, if I can like place it too. Yeah, go ahead and roll perception. Well, that right there. Can 15. I roll, is Maggie losing it? Check. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to roll for that, it's fine. So um, inside? Uh, so yeah, you, you kind of, she says that and you're like, you don't really hear anything it sounds like buzzing. You hear, you know, people talking and the clink of commerce. But you don't really hear, like, a, a buzzing noise, necessarily. I don't know. Onward. All right. You guys all make it to the temple in one piece. This you guys had it. familiar. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where Maggie lost her mind. <laughs> uh, are you guys going to head oh, right me. in? you going to knock on the door? Oh, knocking, <laughs> of course, to be... Do you guys right. want me to stay out here? Oh, do we? Matter of fact, DM, something just occurred to me. Mm -hmm. Do I remember that Maggie complained of hearing buzzing back when she was near the artifact so long ago? When we were first here? She did not. No. Okay. Okay. 
Um, no, I, I don't know. I, I think you should come inside with us, Maggie. That's no problem. We should travel together. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you come up to the door. And uh, it opens. And you see uh, Amelie, who was the Azarian's daughter. She opens the door. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> hi. Hi. Um, what, what, are, what are you doing here? Oh, we're glad to see you again, Amelie. I mean, we heard what happened at the university. And, um, well, that special item, and she has that glint in her eye, that special item mm, that we had handed over last time we were here, we, we wanted to make sure everyone was basically safe. Uh oh, oh, DM is rolling. Oh dear. Uh, special item. Uh, uh, the um, the the necklace. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, is it safe? Is everyone safe? We we didn't know whether or not uh, all of you um, or any of you were hurt in the accident. No, no, we're we're fine. Yeah, but um. The the necklace was transferred to the university before, uh, before, well, before it went up in flames. We didn't keep it here. We didn't want to keep it outside unnecessarily, you know. We mm. thought it would be safest in the hands of studied scholars. Mm. Mm. Gotcha. Well, did they did they recover it at all, um, or were they able to get it out of the fire safely? Do you know? I don't. Um, as far as I know, they haven't been able to recover much. The whole place went up in flames, and manuscripts were lost, artifacts were destroyed. They've combed through it several times, but they haven't found very much that survived, unfortunately. Honestly, oh, even if they had found it, I'm not sure that we would be the people that they would speak to. It's not the scholars that are handling the um, the retrieval of these things. It's the guild and the, and their their uh, their people, you know, because they're the ones who have the resources and the tools to rebuild. And well, to be honest, the guild basically runs the university anyway. very interesting kind of bad maybe but very interesting well i mean it's just because they're the ones that are wealthy so they can fund such things the merchants guild is they run things because they have the money they can fund the university and all the research that it does oh dear well, guys, what, what do you think? I mean, it's not like we can go and over tip the university. Hmm. We need to go there, though. I, I agree. The question is, do we want to wait until the others are back with us? Or do we want to go on ahead? Uh, Somber, can you message them and let them know where we're headed? Are mm. they close enough? Um, actually, uh, that would be a good question, DM. Let me double check what message allows me to do. Um, it is a range of 120 feet, but I have to point my finger towards a creature within range. So, I mean, if I can see at least the tavern from where we are and point back towards it 120 feet away. You guys are going to be more than... 200 feet away from from okay. the tavern for sure got you yeah um unfortunately yeah message doesn't work like that but we can at least leave a note we already let cordy know where we were going first and then second 
So we can at least leave a note for her here. Um, and, you know, just go over to the university. At least, you know, on the, on the QT to see what we might be able to see, you know? It wouldn't hurt to just kind of survey the area. Maybe not, you know, go in, go in, but... Agreeing. And you guys suddenly hear this. Uh -oh. oh! And Naomi comes running out of one of the rooms, and Maggie, she, like, grabs you around the middle and gives you a big hug. Hey, buddy! Hi! You guys came back? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? Relatively good. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, Miss Poyette has been teaching me how to help people. That's so awesome, sweetie. Oh my gosh. And you're looking good. You're looking healthy. And you're looking happy. I'm so glad that you can find happiness here. And your parents are doing Yeah, yeah. They said that... Um, for a little while, if I wanted to, that I could come here and study because Poyette said that I was such a good helper that I could <coughs> be here for a little while. And they said that I'm doing such a good job that I can go ahead and stay. Awesome. Yeah, it really is. I'm really excited, guys. If I had a sticker, I would give it to her right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> like... Let's start, Naomi. <laughs> I can't oh, thank you guys goodness. enough for for helping me. You know, I I was really I was really scared, and 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 you guys really helped me out. And I, if there's anything I can ever do to help you, please just let me know. I never thought I'd see you again. It's so exciting that you're here. Oh, she should take my bacon. <gasps> oh, okay. Only only a piece. Only okay. piece. Okay. But take it. She's so cute. I can't stand it. Okay. <laughs> She's cute. She takes peace. Where, where is Zashri? Zashri and Cherry are on a super top secret mission, and it's super awesome. Mm -hmm. They'll be here to say hey as soon as they can. It might be a little bit, but they, they said specifically to tell you hi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, if, when you see them, tell them that I said thank you and hello. And, um, yeah, and if you need anything, you just let me know. Okay. Um, and I think, uh, Sombra, I mean, she loves this girl so much. She's gonna do this. She's gonna say, "Hey, want to see something cool? Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, come over, come, come this way. And if um, if we go, are any of the uh, the bedrooms, or is there like a couch or a cushy chair at all, um, like in the common sitting room yeah, where we are? Yeah, there's a couple of like comfy chairs that are just kind of around for people to hang out in. Okay, I'm gonna tell her. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to run as fast as you can towards that chair all the way over in the corner and jump before you get to it. Okay, you okay, ready? Okay. Are you okay. ready? Okay. And go! Takes and off it, running and does like a running leap. And as soon as she does the leap, like when she comes on the upper arc, I catch better fall on her. <laughs> so she can just down she comes, the chair. And she kind of like floats down and she's like, Ooh. <laughs> Fun, right? And she turns around and she's like, Miss Puyat, will I be able to do that? And Puyat just like shakes her head a little bit, like, perhaps one day, but no, not, <clears throat> it is not something I can teach you now. Like, oh, wow. That was really cool, Sombra. Thank you. <laughs> You're Nico welcome, 
Mika realizes all of her spells are definitely too violent to cast in here. <laughs> oh gosh, we're doing the uh, one-up again? Oh. No! I got no. this. I just thought it was such a wholesome moment. So I was like, oh, and then I was like, nope, I can't make her shadow attack her. That's not nice. No, I know Maggie's got something though. Um, I know Maggie. I'm gonna use druid craft to make it feel like it's snowing in here for a minute. Oh. There you go. It's not <laughs> real, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> so cool. It hasn't snowed Magic. in a really long time. Magic is definitely fun. It takes practice. Yeah. And you have to learn really well. Pay attention to your studies. Yeah. And, well, right now, we're trying to... Part of that secret mission is trying to help the town with the university. You know, that big fire that happened? Yeah. Um, so, well, hopefully, after the town rebuilds the university, then people can start learning at university again. Maybe even learning some magic. You never know. Yeah, a lot of people were studying there. Mostly the, the merchant's kids, though. Kids like me, we don't we don't get to study at the university, but I can study here and I'm gonna study real hard and I'm gonna be the best healer that there ever was. I'm gonna um go in my bag and that cleric book that I finished, I'm gonna give mm -hmm. it to her. Oh, what's this? That is a book that if you read it over and over and over and over and over again and make a spell book, you can learn spells from it. Oh, cool! Yeah, all right. I'll, I'm gonna go put it in my room. It was so good to see you guys. Thank you for coming by and saying hello to me when we were in town. Stay she, bed. Yeah. she like runs off. Don't grow up. I wish I could just put her in my bag of holding and carry her around like a little horse. That would. Oh be. no! Then she does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cat, cat, you just broke my heart in little pieces when you just said that. Because there's a song that you could sing out of character. There's a song you could sing about not growing up, but that story isn't around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. But she is a delight. Oh, I love that kid. All right, so you guys headed to. The remains of the university. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, about what time of day is it right now, Dan? Mm -hmm. um, it's getting to be a little later. It's probably around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. Um, before you go, Huyet is going to clap her hand on Maggie's shoulder. Oh, okay. Um, uh, can I, yeah. Can I speak with you for a minute? How are you feeling? I'm okay. I had a weird you know, buzzing sound, but I was just assuming it was like maybe a storm coming. Can I do something very quickly, please? Sure. I guess. And she's gonna just kind of like put her hand on your head for a second. Last time you were here, you were not doing so well. No, no? I was not. <clears throat> Are you finding your way, you think? I hope so. You we might have to go somewhere, well, somewhere that may test that. <laughs> you must be careful. I'll try. I have them, though. She can see you, you know. I know. Yeah. Be careful. I will. Okay. Have a good evening. You too. I'm gonna put my hand to her head. <laughs> she like smiles a little bit. <laughs> like a very, one of those like very warm smiles that like grandmothers give where she's just like, <laughs> she's like she's tried 
Like she's all like, like checking up, doing the magic, and you were like, and also with you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And Sombra is just uh, in the corner still talking to Miko. So Miko, from now on, we definitely have to make sure that Maggie gets her fruits and vegetables. You know, <laughs> scurvy is a thing. She has a point, you know. And I feel so bad because, I, you know, I don't only eat bacon, but I eat a lot of bacon. And sometimes I don't think about veggies and fruits like she does. So I really want to make sure that all her needs are met. You know what I mean? Like, nod, and then I call out, I'm like, yo, y'all got any lemons? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Amelie kind of, like, turn looks up from what she's doing. She's like, um, no, uh, citrus doesn't grow this, this far north. You have to go further south for that. One day. Then... One day I'll get another orange. Mm -hmm. Those peaches look good, though. They are pretty good. You guys notice that about half of them are probably gone at this point. Wow. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, I'm gonna oh, get poisoned no! by peaches! <laughs> oh, no! Um... Fast. So, uh, what is that? I, I, I think it was that one. Yeah, it was that. <laughs> Oh, I think. Dear. Uh, 20. Third 20. 20? All right. You feel like a teeny bit queasy for one second just because you ate so many so fast, Ooh. but you're like, whatever, I got this. This is yeah. fine. Shake it Take off. a big swig of water, like, eh. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So you guys uh, say, say goodbye to everybody. They all wish you well. Um, and Fuyev says, if you... If you need a place to stay, you are always welcome to stay here. We have pets. You have been very helpful to Naomi and we are in your way. Thank you. And please, by all means, don't hesitate to reach out to us. If there's like something weird going on in the town or if you guys need help from us anytime. Of course, of course. Yes. Well, thank you. And as you guys leave, Amber, who's been kind of just like leaning up against the door frame. What did you do for them? They were all so enamored of you. It was crazy. I've never seen people be that nice. Oh, you know, curse removal or whatever. I was just like eating bread, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. a lot story. of bread back then. I did. I've cut out carbs quite a bit since then. She says so taking <laughs> her beer. She, she says swigging her beer. Well, uh, do you want to go down to university? You know, I've never been there myself. I mean, I think as good time as any. Yeah. You know, and it's starting to get a, a little dark, so if we go down there, probably people won't see us poking around, which is yeah, yeah, can't hurt. Agree. All right, let's go. So you guys head out into the town. It's about mm, only about a three quarter mile from where you are. You approach uh, the sort of the what looks to be the center of town. And the closer and closer that you guys get, you notice that even though it's getting dark, it starts to get more and more dingy. You can tell that like some of the roofs have caught on fire around here. There's definitely soot on the buildings. Uh, you can see some debris in the streets and the closer that you get to like the city center, excuse me, where the university is, the destruction becomes more and more clear. There's some broken archways, some broken bridges. Uh, interestingly enough, though, it doesn't look like there's any blood or bodies or anything. Obviously, it's been a little while. It's been about a month since this has happened. But it doesn't really look like there was much of a death toll from what you can see. 
Is there anything as we approach that we could, any of us could roll anything to figure out, like, what was used to make this explosion? Right. Sure. I mean, so, yes, I will have, you can each roll perception or investigation and tell me which one you're doing because it'll get you different things. <clears throat> um, I would roll investigation. I'm going to use my <coughs> advantage. Dirty 20. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use investigation. Eighteen. I'll do some perception. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So perception. As you're walking up, you can see that whatever happened here, it definitely radiated from the central point. Mm-hmm. So you can tell that the fire definitely started at the tower and caught out. So whatever it was, was intentionally set in that center area. So for investigation, you guys kind of like, you're looking around as you go. And when you get closer, you're sort of like looking through the rubble. Um, it doesn't look like there was any kind of explosion which is what people keep saying uh it just looks like it caught on fire but mm. you said you rolled an 18 and 16. Yep. Okay. um oh, it was a uh 20 actually 20, 20. Sorry. okay yeah mm -hmm. so yeah you guys can definitely tell with those rolls that whatever this was the fire started at the top and collapsed the structure. Mm, from our past um, trip to the city, do we remember that was like a bell in the tower or something like that? You guys weren't um, here. You wouldn't have yeah, known. Wouldn't have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, detect magic? Sure. That's a good idea. Um, what, are you just like walking around with it? Yes. Right. And that is, uh, it's up to 10 minutes. So for the next 10 minutes, yeah. Anything within 30 feet of me. Okay. Um, so as you're walking around with the spell up, you don't really catch anything. Um, there's a couple of very small pings, but as you sort of look at it, it looks like there's, it's in the debris and it's probably some broken pieces of something that was magical. Uh, as people walk by, you occasionally get small pings off of certain people, but it's not anything that you wouldn't expect from, you know, maybe a couple of wizards or sorcerers in town. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm not picking up anything um, out of the ordinary, really, guys. I don't know. It's just so weird. It, um, it actually, it seems like it started from like that tower over there i, I want to go take a, a yeah, closer look I think at that we should go over to the tower is the is the entrance dm is the entrance to the tower um under rubble right now is it are do we have egress in there um what does that look like the, so the whole thing has collapsed um, okay you can still see like the sort of the entrance area it's like a stone because the building was stone so it's like a stone tower that went up and you can see that there was like an entrance area and there's a door but everything is collapsed down on it and the rubble has like scattered so there's no actual inside anymore mm. it's destroyed and the entire university is destroyed and so that's really all that it was was it was like this big central tower in the mid in the center of the city and it like it was one of the tallest towers that basically housed because like i said the city's not that big so a lot of it was just like basically like rich kids getting their education it. it was kind of like private tutoring more than anything but it's like uh you know old guys come teach a couple of kids and then they also get paid to do research basically okay. got um upon, speaking of which um if if Sombra has gotten certain pings off of 
little items uh, or broken pieces of former items here or there. Are there any papers, documents, anything that has survived this um, enough uh, for us to glean at all? Uh, go ahead and roll investigation again. Sure. Right, that is... 13 on the die, uh, plus 2. 15. So you can tell with relative certainty that any documents were destroyed. That everything, basically, anything that was flammable went completely up in flames. Got it. Scrolls, uh, documents, got it. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, material-wise, there's really nothing here, guys, but... I don't know. I don't think that an explosion did this. Right? Yeah, I feel like if it was an explosion, it would have been like a, I don't know, not not only a greater area, but like people would have seen an explosion. Yeah. Um, may I ask a question real quick? Yeah. No. Could I do <laughs> a quick perception, <laughs> um, perception or investigation to see if I've I guess perception or maybe insight to see if I feel like we're being watched right now or if there's anybody hiding nearby. Yeah, you can do perception. Cool. Here! Ah! Dang it, Slauson. Hold on. What is it? What is it? What is it? Don't move it. What is it? Yeah, I'm going to use that advantage. <laughs> oh, we have advantages. Thank you, chat. 13? 13? Wait, I'm lucky. Yes, 13. I'm lucky. Okay. Um, so you look around and you do notice that there are a couple of what look like the city watch sort of standing in a corner uh, of the, the city square. They, you seem to have caught their attention, but mm. they are not approaching you at all. Okay. okay. Then I shall approach them. Okay. So as you start walking up, they both kind of like stand up a little straighter and like grab their spears a little tighter and I am. You good sirs, how are you doing on this fine day, Deception? Okay. Hi, <laughs> what? I love that. It's like punctuation at the end of the sentence it's like deception <laughs> i love it trying to deceive right okay. oh, there's rolling there's rolling happening that was an 11 for deception okay <laughs> that's good to know okay cool and uh I'll carry Wait, what exactly are you trying to deceive them of? <laughs> that she sounds like a Dahlia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm like... trying to <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> actually, you know what? This might actually be more performance, come to think of it. Okay, okay. Which puts me at seventeen. I'm just trying to like act a little bit more less like, hey, what's up? I'm Nico. I'm a bar. Give me your bread and beer or whatever. I guess it's fine. <laughs> whatever. And, and trying to be more like, oh, hello. Yes, I'm very well to do and influential. You should probably be in my social circle. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Maggie's Hi, looking Sombra. at Sombra. I would, yeah. yeah. I would say that uh, would be more performance. Look, so, cool. Seven, that is, called 17. 17 for performance. Okay. Oh, dear. And I look back at Maggie, and then I pipe up and say, yeah, you know, Miko, she's an incredible bard. You have to come see her her gigs one time. You know, she tours around the different taverns around here, and she's getting inspiration. We heard about the fire, and we're so sorry. Yes, yes. Maggie's it's... looking at both of them like, why are they lying? <laughs> <laughs> It's quite a shame. You see, oh, we had sent some papers up this way. Very important papers. Family letters for restoration, as it were. I'm very much hoping that they were kept in somewhere safe at the university. We were headed up to uh, retrieve them, but unfortunately uh, the fire happened, and I, I don't know if 
There would be anywhere else they could have been taken for safekeeping? Uh, no, ma'am. They... The attack caught us off guard, and pretty much everything that was in the archives and was in the university just went right up in flames. Attack? What attacked it? He doesn't say anything. His eyes are all big. Oh, inside check. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> big, big inside check. <laughs> well, that is truly a shame. You know, in addition to my family letters, I believe that Pa had sent up my grandmama's necklace for safekeeping this way. Truly a shame. It must have, uh, it must have been destroyed as well. Oh, well, uh, actually, the, anything that was recovered is being kept uh, at the Merchant's Guild. Perhaps you could check there. Mm. The Merchant's Guild? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Would there be anybody who might be keeping these artifacts safe in particular we could ask for? I would hate to waste the time of the Merchants. I know that they're quite busy recovering from this whole ordeal. Uh, well, as far as I know, uh, Master Azarian has been tasked with the recovery of these things and is keeping them safe at the oh, guild right. Yes, Azarian, he is an old friend of ours. We'll have to uh, pop by. Maybe he'll do us a solid. You two have been uh, uh, quite, quite helpful. I, I do appreciate it. And now, you mentioned something about uh, an attack. Would this be an attack of a, a flame from a little match going wild? Or would this be something more interesting? And the one guard that, like, wasn't talking before sort of elbows his friend a little bit, and they're both like, <clears throat> mm. what you're talking about? There was no attack. Oh, surely you could mm. indulge a woman's love for a good story. I, I could I could certainly work it in all names anonymous, of course. Could I roll persuasion? Yeah, yeah, roll persuasion for me. And, oh boy. And I got a 13 Lucky. on the insight. Um... That was a 12. Lucky for 25. Yeah. Oh. Hey! Um, Sombra, for the insight, what were you trying to glean? Oh, as soon as the eyes went big, like, okay, why is he not, is he holding uh, something back from us? Or is he um, just surprised by the question? Well, so, you know, you guys have figured out that there are was right. definitely something that happened, yeah. but the story going around is that the place just caught on fire and there was an explosion. So it seems like he was like, Do they seem oh, to be shit. guarding something in particular, or are they just kind of making rounds? So I'm gonna have you roll perception for me on that one. That's what it noise. Hey. So from what you can glean and, and from the time that you did spend in the city, mm -hmm. you can probably tell that they are stationed here, um, but that they're not, it doesn't look like they're actually guarding anything in particular from the way that they're standing and from where they're standing, Okay. Uh, except maybe just to keep an eye on the ruin. Got it. Okay. But there wouldn't, they're, the way that they're standing and what they're doing, they, it's not like they're just it passing. It doesn't seem like there's either. like a spot in the rubble that they're like making sure no one gets over to okay yeah no, not like that cool. all right so 25 on persuasion yeah. so the the guards will kind of look at each other and they look at you thinking like tweedledee and tweedledum here yep they're both like are you from around here me yeah, yeah. Because you know, family ties way, way back, but we've been uh, out of the loop for quite some time. All right. Well, if you promise not to tell anybody, word on the street has it that the university was attacked by flying demons and they set the place on fire with <laughs> their fire breath. And the whole place just went right up in flames. And what the people say... Now, don't go telling nobody you hear, because everybody that has said that, they have ended up being branded insane. And we don't, we don't want 
anything like that to happen and you know would lose our jobs but what is that nothing bad happened to anybody but when the uh when the scholars came back and they were looking through the ruins almost everything was gone you know they had all kinds of magic artifacts in that place and it looks like everything went missing and nobody knows why nobody knows why demons would want all them things it doesn't make no sense. So, I have to tell you, I truly appreciate uh, your willingness to indul indulge a woman's sense of imagination, but that's too far-fetched of a story, even for me to believe. Well, here's, here's one say. question. Well, here's one question I had, though. Like, when you say branded insane, is that, like, the people have been walking around in black this whole time. I mean, I don't know. It's so strange. I'm used to seeing people so nicely, brightly dressed, and there's not a lot of people walking around in black outfits lately. Um, are oh, those yeah. the branded ones, or where are they? Where do they go? Oh no, the people who are branded in Spain, they don't go nowhere. It's just that their reputation in town has been ruined. Two of them ended up on the street, and then four of them were run right out of town. Said that they were crazy, and they were doing bad things for this place. So them men in black, they, uh, they helping out the merchants here. Rebuild this place, although you wouldn't know it. And he, like, kind of does, like, a head jerk over to the ruin. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, just so we can be on the lookout for the insane ones, do you know the names of the two that are in town? Oh, no, I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. But we will certainly keep a keen eye out, though. Hmm. Now, um, you said that the artifacts that were recovered would have gone to Azarian? Yes, yes. He, uh, he is keeping them for safekeeping at the uh, head of the merchant's guild. Oh, well, that is quite truly generous of him, considering what you say happened here, which, honestly, between you and me, I do not quite believe. But we'll have to go pay our regards at some point and see if Grandmama's necklace is there. You all have truly been quite kind. Um, ladies, do we have any other questions before we head out? No, uh, these guys have been most helpful. I do agree. Um, well, you gentlemen take care and do, don't go telling around those stories to just anybody. I mean, while I don't believe they're true, others might have you all branded insane. Is that <laughs> Is that right? Oh, yes, yes. Don't worry, we ain't spreading no lies. Yeah. I do understand. Well, you all have a lovely day, and I, I'll give you a quick tip. In the market, I do believe they're having a, a wonderful special on peaches, but a bushel for, for only a gold piece. It's, it's quite exquisite. <laughs> and as she's walking away, she's kind of dropped. Goes, okay, dope, y'all, we're going to Azarians. And as, yep. yeah, as, um, you leave, I do like the most awkward bow and go, Ta-ta, good sirs. <laughs> ah! Oh, snap. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, he does like good? a weird, he does like a weird little half bow at you and kind of cocks an eyebrow, like. <laughs> <The talk. laughs> you sounded funny, Miko. Oh, it's just a thing that I do sometimes. That's fine. It's kind of fun. Should try it sometime. It was pretty fun. <laughs> All right, where are you guys gonna head? Oh, we uh, we really should have well, to go to Azarians, but I think we should go to Azarians. Azarians, mm. it is. Okay. I want to make sure oh. he doesn't have that necklace. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. All right, so yeah, you guys do remember that. <laughs> I know. I don't like this. I hate it all. 
Uh oh, okay. Mm, maybe we should reconnoiter with Cherry and Zashri first? Maybe? Hmm? It's up uh, to you guys. It's up to you what you want to do. I don't know. Mm. I'm thinking, um, since they haven't caught up with us yet, that we definitely want to tell them everything that yeah, we, we would at least found let them know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So do you guys want to go yep. back to the tavern, or do you want to go ahead and go to the Azarian Manor? Yeah, I think we will go back to the tavern. Okay, cool. All right, so after learning what you have learned, you guys head back to the Lady of the Lake, where Holic hey. is still hanging out behind the bar. It is starting to get fairly late at this point also, so... Uh, it is up to you guys what you want to do, but you're probably pushing about 7 o'clock right now. Dinner! Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, as you walk in, Zafri and Cherry are no longer there. Well, great. Oh, we don't see them anywhere. No. Interesting. Okay. They probably hmm. wanted to go talk to um, the people at the temple. Maybe. That's my guess. If I was Cherry, mm. that's where I would go. Okay. Or if there's a bakery in town. Well. <laughs> that was definitely something else entirely. Um, let me see. Okay. Do you guys have... Does anybody have another way to send the Let message? Let me see what I have. Mm, because oh, the... uh, I can do that. Oh! Oh, I yeah. forgot you were with us. Yeah. Uh, well, well, uh, what do you need? You want me to send something to uh, Cordial? Yeah. yeah. Just kind what of like in to? 25 words or so. <laughs> let her know everything that's happened in the last few hours. Make sure you let her know I have apples for apple juice. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell her that part. Let's surprise her. Oh, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, how about this? How about I will let them know that we're back here and that whenever they're ready, they can meet us here and hopefully she responds and tells us where she is so that you don't have to worry anymore. Yeah. All right. Hold on one second. She kind of squinches her eyes a little bit. Cordial, we're back at the Lady of the Lake. Let us know where you are. We'll see you here soon. It's Amrit. And she kind of like, <laughs> she kind of like Good pauses idea. for a second and she keeps her eyes squinched closed. Yeah, she's fine. She's at the, she's at the place with her, with her friend and she says it, she'll be back here just as soon as she can. And Sounds actually good. that's a good place to take a second break. Mm hmm So we will go ahead and take another five to ten, and then we will be back for the thrilling conclusion of what the hell is going on in deep water. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back in a few, everybody.
We are back, everybody. Okay, I'm done. Um, <laughs> all right. So yeah, you guys get back to the tavern. It's probably about seven o'clock. Uh, it's a little more sparse than it was before. There's not quite as many people in here. It seems like people are wrapping up their days headed home. Pollock is still behind the bar. Where are you? Uh, what, can I get you anything? Uh, you return. Do you need a room? Would you like some dinner? I wouldn't mind well, dinner. If dinner. you have a salad. Salad. Uh, you know, like veggies and stuff. Oh, yes, of course. Like no meat. Oh, yes, yes cool. Okay. I can, I can bet. He brings you one potato. Probably. One I would bring like that. Potato. <laughs> Maggie's been eating um, peaches all day. And before, well, before he run, scurries off to do that, though, um, Sombra would pipe up and say, so our friends, um, Cordy and Sasha, Zashi, Sasha. I was Zasha. like, what? I was trying to wait a minute. That, that is not some <laughs> like, nickname. Is that really her, her name? I promise. <laughs> Zashi. No, to Sombra, Cordy is Cherry's real name because yeah, she's been calling true. that forever. But um, yeah, uh, Cordy and Zashi, like, do you happen to know where they might have gone? Uh, well, they went off gate, so uh, probably wherever he goes. I don't actually really know where he goes. I don't know him that well, although he's here quite a bit. He doesn't talk very much, um, but he's a nice fellow. He does well. Okay, um, you know where we can find him? If we have to go to him later, or? Oh my, no. I, I, like I said, I don't really talk to him that much. He doesn't talk very much. But he's quite a gentleman. Mm. Very nice fellow. Like I said, he tips very well. He's here quite often, but he's very... Okay. Alright, well, at least we can sit and have dinner, right, girl? You think? Yes, yes, I'll... I'll run and I'll, I'll grab you something. I'm sure that we can come up with something. I mean, we've probably got a bit of mushroom stew and I can get some potatoes as well. And, you know, I'll, I'll whip up something for you, Maggie. It's not a problem at all. I'll be right back. There is way. I feel like he doesn't know how to walk. He only No, screams. probably not. I mean, he's a gnome living in a medium human world, so he's, like, constantly just, like, running. Zzz, zzz, zzz. 20 foot movements. Cardio all day, all year. Mm hmm. Oh, he's so tiny. He's big. All right. Uh, so, as you're waiting, you guys just hanging out at the table? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that look, Vanessa. What look? What look? I don't like that look. <laughs> I oh, saw a no. look, man. Followed up by the suspect, the, the suspicious. Oh, what look? Oh, what look? <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. I don't. I don't know anything that you're talking about, dear. <laughs> Toby, she's full of it. <laughs> so this, uh, this Azarian fellow, you know him. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, I've heard that he's like a big wig around here. Well. We sort of, I think we saved his daughter, we helped with their wedding, there was skeletons involved. Skeletons? Yeah, it's a lot. A wedding? Right. Oh yeah, um, it was not pretty, let me tell you. Oh my god, kind of a it was so... Well, that's a bit weird. Yeah, you know, I've heard that. I've heard that he's not a very nice man. Mm-hmm. He's a bit high and mighty, but you know, he is the head of... Basically, this city. Very fancy pants man. Hmm. So. Wow, well, head of the city, like, elected official level? Or, like, the go-to guy? Like, everybody basically pays attention to what he says. Well, he's like the, the elected head of the Merchant Guild, which kind of makes him the default ruler of the city as it were you know i mean it's not like the people elected him it's like other merchants 
they vote on who's leading, and since they basically run the city, he basically runs the city. Sombra looks over at Miko and Maggie and says, I know that he was at least nice enough to us as far as we did him a favor and he, you know, showed us at least a modicum of respect there. How much do we trust him with our girls alone, though? I mean... It's not... No. Don't. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. But as she, like, eyes her, like, dwindling bacon, like, she's only down to, like, one last piece, and she's like, I'm gonna really regret this, aren't I? But, maybe we could tell Colic to hold dinner for us, and maybe go check on them. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Ugh. I have a quick question. Just got here. Mm -hmm. Um, behind the bar is there like a cocktail like station with like maraschino cherries and like lemon wedges and like toothpicks and olives and stuff? There is not. This place is not that fancy. Okay, thanks. I was um, under, like, I just grab a handful. Just slices. Just just ale. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, are you guys, you guys are going to the Azarian house now? Yeah, yeah. I My think... My favorite at, place. At least Sombra would write out a note, uh, really quick, scribble out a note and leave it at the table for Colic. Like, sorry, please hold dinner for us. We'll be back checking on our girls. And... Um, the Cherry and Zashri are with the Thieves Guild, not him. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, the, I'm sorry. That was where she I'm was sorry. going. She was going to deal with her people. Okay. And he is the head of the Merchant's Guild, which is the head of the city. Got you. But... Yeah. What's up? I just said wires crossed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I keep. I think I keep referring to them both as the Guild, which is, that's my bad. So I'll, I'll be more... No worries. Um, but still, we're kind of still worried about Mazarian's influence a little bit, I think. And so, I don't know. I mean, you guys, I think our girls can handle their, themselves. And I think it's getting late. So, you know what? If Azarian wasn't pissy with us before, he might be even more pissy if we go to him this late. Do you guys just want to call it and have dinner and then go in the Get morning? Some rest. Works for me. All right. And then, no note. <laughs> right. And at that point, Holic kind of scrambles up, and Maggie, he puts down a plate of deliciously steamed potatoes smothered in cheese, and he's got some smutton stews for you guys, and puts them down on the table. And I go behind the counter and give him a hug. Oh. Oh. Thank you. So he's like I on his school and you're giving him a hug. In a like, month. A month? Oh, that's quite that's quite a long time, you know. It I, is, you're I, right. Sorry. But I was able to whip this up there and I hope that you enjoy it. I mean, it who doesn't delicious. love smothered in cheese? So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if there's anything else that I can get for you. Wait, could you just repeat one more time what that was? Uh, what, the potatoes smothered in cheese? Okay, that's... Mm. I just heard, who doesn't like cheese? I heard <laughs> smut in cheese. <laughs> smothered in <laughs> cheese. Oh no, he was saying that basically anything smothered in cheese is delicious, and he hopes that you mm -hmm. like it. Oh, yeah. agree. Yeah. Hi. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I think, um, my... what... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I said this is just my, like, I'm eating food and I'm happy dance. And Miko probably does it, too. <laughs> also, this song is a bop, so... 
<laughs> I think um I I say to Maggie, Maggie, mm. let me have one of those peaches. I swear I'm not gonna eat it, but let me have one of those peaches for a sec. I want to show you some. What is with you guys and stealing my food? I'm not stealing it. I promise. Okay. I give you my last okay. peach. <laughs> okay. And I'll take my my knife. Uh, obviously, we've probably got utensils. I'll take my knife and I'll slice up the peach. And then I'll use thaumaturgy and the little candle that's probably at our table flares up a little more. Almost like, you know, Bunsen burner kind of, you know, flame Ooh, like it. In, in a chemistry lab. And when it flares up, I just kind of hold it with a fork, like, and turn it and turn it. And I do that with several of the slices. And I'm like, voila, your dessert, roasted peaches. Changed my life when I first tried them. You have to try it. That they are magical. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. I love her face. She's like, what? <laughs> Can I just say well, that with Maggie and her like fruit fruit hunt 2021? I feel like she like wild shaped into a duck and asked Pollock <laughs> if he had grapes, and that's where that whole joke came from. I don't even know where oh I got God. that from. I just thought it'd be funny to make me like a full vegan with someone that is obsessed with bacon. Yeah. <laughs> like full on vegan and everyone's just like eating pocket bacon all the yeah. time and you're like, God. Well, and it was funny because it only came up, I think it was like an episode or two ago and they all finally figured out like, I don't eat meat. Wait, what? I think it was Cherry that was like, oh, wait, are you vegan? Cherry? <laughs> oh, God. The vegan struggle is real, y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, sh hard. shout out to, I mean, I'm vegetarian with pescatarian tendencies, but I still empathize. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, it's a commitment, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, I would like Miko and Sombra to roll a perception check for me, please. Can do. 19. 11. <laughs> um, Sombra, you're like chomping away at this soup. It's delicious. This is really good. It's like better than you expected it to be for a place like this. Uh, Miko, you're kind of like, you know finish your food and you're just kind of like looking around and uh you notice that maggie has something in her hand what you got there kid it's a peach no no it's an apple no <laughs> i try to switch out what i'm holding in my hand with an apple all right, roll for sleight of hand. Oh, this is there's the worst. Secret? Toby, Toby, Wait, lick, the lick the dice. Lick the dice. Please, please lick the dice. Okay. Oh, he, you put his what nose in for log. Oh. What is that? I don't even know what the number that is. Really? You oh, that was a... I got a one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she tries to... You can see her very clearly try to, like drop the thing in her bag and like pick up an apple <laughs> instead but yeah that's definitely not what she had in her hand before give it i don't have anything give it intimidation <laughs> oh no okay and sombra is watching this like what 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 wait what 18 oh no 18. how scared am i of you let me see Wait, what do I roll for that? So I still actually don't really know how you're supposed to like do that. Intimidate, it's come up a maybe... couple of times, but I I usually say that like it would probably be your constitution plus your constitution. Okay, let's see then. It's an eighteen. Okay, we roll. An eighteen. <laughs> An 18? Oh, God! Okay. Ow. Miko is being very scary, and Maggie's just kind of like, 
so you're a little nervous, but you're not necessarily scared. But you're definitely nervous. She's uh, on to you. Come on, you guys. Are you fighting? Why? She thinks I have something. And Sombra looks her in the eye and says very gently, without accusatory tone, Maggie, do you have something? I open my hand. It's the gem. Maggie! I couldn't help it! Where did we even find it? No, no, no. What? Your bag. What? Your bag. <laughs> the one from your bag. Oh, oh, I thought she found the necklace gem. No, no, it's the one from your bag. Mm -mm. Okay, rule number one, you never <laughs> took my bag. Rule number two. I can't I... help it. I don't know what happened. Give it. I give it to you. I take it. Uh, I am actually, Maggie, go ahead and roll strength for me. Oh, oh, we're about to throw, we're about to get kicked out of this tavern, aren't we? Oh, dear. Uh, 15. 15? Uh, Miko, can you also roll, roll athletics? Oh, God. <laughs> Eight. Oh, dear. Eight. Okay. <laughs> you, so you try to take it. And you, you can't get it out of her hand. But my hand is open, right? Yeah. See, it's not me. Aggie. I'm not doing anything, I swear. Um, DM, please remind me, because Sombra remembers, but not Cher. Did we ever run a detect magic on that gem? Yes. Uh, Maggie knows that it is of the same type as the one in the necklace. As the one in the necklace, right, right, right. Um, Maggie, yeah. we know that gems like this are not really good. So we're gonna need you to just drop it on the table. Just, just drop it on the table, okay? I'll turn my hand over. Like, is it like stuck to my hand? No, you turn your hand oh, over okay. and it drops. There, see? And. Okay, and Sandra uses mage hand to pick it up and looks over at Miko like, let me go ahead and put it in the bag. And then... Maggie, can I have you roll acrobatics, please? Okay. What is that? These dice oh, are no. awesome, but they're dark. <laughs> Maggie, please do not try to jump into the bag. Oh god. This is where Maggie dies. <laughs> She's gonna jump like, in the bag of holding and never return. Um, oh dear god. What, what'd you say? Say hello to Senator Trottington. <laughs> oh jeez. Give my regards to Senator Trottington. I will, good sir! <laughs> um, that's an eight. <laughs> Acrobatics. Okay, so as Sombra's moving the gem to put it in the bag with her mage hand, you seemingly out of nowhere, try to jump and grab it, but you miss. And uh, you get the gem back in the bag. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand on Maggie's shoulder and just look really point-blank seriously into her eyes. And Maggie, can you please make a constitution saving throw? Oh no! Sorry, sorry, wisdom. No. Wisdom. wisdom saving throw. That's not oh. good. That's a ten. <laughs> Beautiful. I say, Maggie, mm. you want you want nothing to do with that gem. And I cast Suggestion, which will be good for eight hours. Okay. okay. I should have done that passing. before. These are not well, the gems you're did. looking for. <laughs> Maggie, you sort we of didn't... feel this like tension in your shoulders drain a little bit. That feels better. See, I told you I heard a buzzing. Yup. Yup. So we've got that to deal with now, so that's good to, to know. And I already touch everything. Yes. Yes, you do. 
Right now, we why know. don't you touch <laughs> some peaches and potatoes and just don't worry about that ugly rock. You mean gem, right? Shh. Okay. <laughs> the thing. The thing. The you know? thing. The thing. <laughs> And um, Sombra looks over at Miko and says, well, at least, because she probably recognizes what you, what you did. Um, and she'll say, well, at least we'll be good, hopefully, throughout the night. Because mm -hmm. sleepwalking is a thing, too. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, we're good. Let's just hurry up and go to bed. Just don't tell, don't tell a cordial I did that. <laughs> She's gonna be mad. I mean, but also it's for Maggie's own good, so it's... It is. Ethical gray area? It's not like I was like, hey, you should do this thing for me. I'm like, just don't touch it! Don't touch don't... the bad thing! Yeah, yeah, and I think that's a good general rule. Nobody touch the thing with your hand. Do you, you know, touch it? Do you touch it with your hand? It's like when a yes. kid grabbing with, with my mage hand. Sure. <laughs> it's like and when a kid was... is running around and like grabbing things without permission, and so for you know punishment to teach them, you glue their hands together. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um. I thought it was so weird. at this point, Amber, who has been very quietly sitting at the end of the table, <laughs> is just gonna kind of be like, us. Yep, she's gonna be like, Um, I thought you were a druid. I am a druid. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I got a little other stuff sprinkled in the mix. I... You know, I knew somebody that was a lot like you. I'm when sorry. I used to... but... <laughs> well, you know, she would... She would sometimes do things that, like, she didn't really remember or want to but it was like she couldn't help it she was like a bit of a klepto but <laughs> that's definitely mm. like me yeah she was really nice but she ended up getting herself killed because the person that she was serving got mad when she didn't want to anymore who was she serving Have you ever heard of Tiamat? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Miko leans over and goes, guys, Tiamat used to be a klepto. Well, so Tiamat, she's, you know, she like guards one of the gates to Avernus. And when I was living down there with my family, one of the uh, the girls that I went to school with down there, Tiamat was her patron and gave her magic powers. But I guess once Sombra, your dad, took over, she tried to leave with us and Tiamat didn't like that. So she lost all her power and then she got Killed. And Sombra has this pained look on her face, like <laughs> for 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 a, a sorceress that deals primarily with fire. This is one of the few times that you've seen her shiver. <laughs> but it's not from cold. It's from like my mom. She used to tell me bedtime stories about Tiamat to make sure that we all behaved ourselves. I mean, Tiamat is scary. So She's real powerful, you know. Oh. 
I can imagine. Like, getting your powers taken away is about the least you can worry about. My powers disappeared a while ever. ago. But then I got them back. But they were different. What happened? Different how? Um... My parents died in a fire. Um, because of me. Maggie, Whoa. I thought you didn't have parents. I don't anymore. How old were you? Wasn't that long ago. Did you guys live in the woods together? Right. Yeah. And then, um, it was something that I bought in town, <laughs> and I, I learned to use it, and whatever the wizard gave me was, well, <laughs> not good. So, so Maggie. After that, I, uh, let's just say I wasn't happy, Maggie, for a while. Let's, let's try something, if you're okay with it. Hmm. Do you want to tell us one of your favorite memories of your parents? I don't really remember them anymore. But I, I do remember my dad was a pretty cool-looking wolf. Yeah? That is cool. Do you like wild shape into wolves sometimes? I can. Yeah. Is that why you like to, to, to shift? Yeah, I guess so. That's really cool. Do you want an apple? No, those are for cherry. Do you want me to go get you more peaches? <laughs> we can go get some later. It's kind of late. It's never too late for peaches. That's true. Wait, and the peaches song is <laughs> going through my head now. <laughs> I'm just thinking know, right? of your character peaches. Millions of peaches. Right. Peaches for me. <laughs> And I and Sombra is just listening to them talk, and she's just quietly. She stopped eating her food, and she uh, well, just as a byproduct of her draconic heritage, or just the fact that she deals with fire magic, whatever. Her tears. She's got like a couple tears spilling down her cheek as she's like her heart is breaking for Maggie right now, and as her tears fall, they like kind of sizzle a little bit. Um, they're like acidic tears that kind of sizzle on the table. There's like <laughs> lots of smoke. Sitting, like, <laughs> and she just she doesn't say anything, but she's listening. She's listening to what Maggie is saying. Um, when you say you weren't happy, what, what do you mean? Like, like dark magic and stuff. Yeah, I did it. I. Anything that got in my way, I killed it. All I wanted to do was kill that wizard for taking my family away. I met some pretty cool people on the way, though. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that, that that happened, but are you... I mean... You seem happy now. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but... I, uh, it was after this, uh, adventure I went on, real, you know, and there was a family and their house was up in flames. And instead of being dark and just letting them burn, I, well, we, the people I was with at the time, we, uh, 
We saved them, and well, <laughs> wherever I got my magic, they did not like that. And I lost it for a while, actually. Well, Sombra gives you a great big hug <laughs> as you say that. Which is why I don't like fire. <laughs> Now I don't mind it as that's much. Why she, that's why she gives you a hug, because now she's realizing that every time that she has cast a fiery spell, she's probably giving you PTSD. A little bit. <laughs> um, and then it was just one day I was all alone, just kind of hanging out, and I don't know, I felt this, like, good power. That's why I can heal you guys sometimes. I'm not as good at it as Cherry, but... I guess it's a different patron. So I'm a little warlock, I guess. Well, uh, as long as you're happy, I guess. It felt good to be powerful like that, but... I did some pretty rotten things. Flashback to stab, 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 Which is why... <laughs> My unseen servant. I named it after one of those people. Because he was pretty red. His name was Tugrami. Tugrami. He was the best. <laughs> His name was Tug. Yeah. He is kind of okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of the reason I became a klepto. Sorry about that. Well, sometimes being a club go can be a good skill in some aspects, but in this case, when it comes to magical stuff, Maggie, please, anytime that we come across any little enchanted thing, let us take a look at it first, okay? I'll try. Never, sometimes it never almost feels me. like that evil is like still trying to control me. Well, it can cry all at once, because we're not gonna let it. Chief, awkward arm punch. I do it back to you. Um, so I don't really know what's... <laughs> if that TT woman, yeah, I'm gonna call her that, um, is in hell, I'm a little nervous that... I don't know, she'll hurt me. For not well for that's not why doing gonna, what she wants well that's why you're gonna have your girls with you we're that's not gonna true. let anything happen to you so and that's it works for me and at this point cherry and zashri are come through the door and see you guys sitting at the table and like make a beeline and that is where we are going to end our episode for tonight. Uh, a little Wait. bit shorter, but, you know, we didn't have everybody, so I wanted to... So convenient you know. they just came into the tavern right oh after my, my awesome backstory moment. Thanks, uh, guys. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> um, also, though, before before we uh, go, Maggie, I do need you to make a wisdom save for me. Okie doke. Oh, dear God. Oh, I failed that this time. All these wisdom saves. Uh, See? Seven. Oh, no. Seven? Okay, cool. Yeah. I will keep that in mind. Oh, you're not even gonna let I feel oh. like she has a tally. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, last game, at the end of the yeah. game, Maggie failed her wisdom save yeah. for the first time. So we'll it's see. We'll see what really happens. Off. Um, so next weekend is, uh, Super Bowl Sunday. That it is. So we are not going to be live, although we will, uh, Bells will not be live, although there will definitely be something here. So yes. you should definitely come and hang out and watch what's going on. So, um, and if there isn't, I will be doing another mini painting. Trip, yeah. So. Yeah. There will definitely be something. So either come and hang out with Kat. Well, yeah. Come and hang out with Kat. And the rest of us in chat, uh, we just won't be streaming actual bells. But we love everybody, and thank yes. you for sticking with us. This is awesome. I love this. 
I'm glad that everybody had a good time. Yay! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody. I'm trying to think. DOA is back on Friday, and uh, yes. Oh, we should start plugging. Share your 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 thing. Oh, it's yeah. Up. yeah. So very excited uh, for uh, February uh, yeah. as we celebrate Black History Month. Uh, really, we celebrate Black History all year. But since we've got a month for it, we're going to use the heck out of it. Heck so yes. we're going to have a charity stream yes. and all proceeds will be going to Black Girls Code. And it's a, a nonprofit that helps young girls get interested in STEM. Um, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics. I think that's how it goes. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so all, all the tech things. So um, very great cause. Please stay tuned. We will be posting on all our socials. Yes on when the date and time is. We've got an amazing cast that's gonna come on board and help us tell a story. And uh, we'll, we'll hope, we hope to see you there. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. there's gonna be um, some raffle giveaways yes. for yes. Uh, people who donate. We've got some awesome prizes lined up. So stay tuned for deets on that I as well. I also would like to donate a mini that I paint for someone if they if they would like it so yeah Fantastic. of course awesome yeah so and yeah it's my first time dming so yeah, uh, you're gonna be so, 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 you're gonna be so good you're gonna be so good at it i'm so excited yes. for you to dm i know me too i'm so stoked yeah so obviously details details forthcoming but we want to start putting that out in the ether that this is coming up and it's going to be awesome tell your friends let people know we're excited it's yeah. an amazing thing to just come and support even if you don't donate just come and be here because yes yeah. or not here really... but ladies of D, &D. Yeah, i think we're gonna have it on right well well for sure and so. yeah and so just uh it's an awesome cause, obviously, and we are super stoked to uh, be doing all of this. So we'll, uh, once we actually have solid dates and times and everything, yes. we will continue to post stuff and it's gonna be awesome. So, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Ugh. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We love you all, <laughs> yeah. stay safe, be smart, all that good stuff. Drink your water, take your meds and have a great night's sleep. And we will see you guys in the next stream. Yeah. <laughs>